turn on the cameras and press record when you watching us you'll never get bored we learn and leave no one behind got a fire burning inside of our mind number one in the state we precious as pearls and i'll scratch that we number one in the world football soccer band we got them all we are the giants we were never small Good morning, Good morning, Giants. Giants. My name is Jaden Perkins. And I'm Asada Flanagan with this week's newscast. Recently, BD alumni have came to visit Ben Davis to give our current students advice. Here's Leah Johnson, Kayla Davis, and Tom Fields. I wasn't even there a month and they let me go. So I'm like, now I'm out here, what's next? Tom Fields and Kayla Davis were former BD TV students who came back to visit their roots. They discuss about their hard journeys and always staying positive. My mother was 14 when she had me. My father was killed when he was 19. I don't have children. I'll be 25 this year. I've lived in, I, I moved to New York when I was 21 years old. I come back from New York so I can finish my degree at Terre Haute, Indiana State. College, bro, is always something going on. <laughs> it's always something going on. <laughs> Couldn't play football. <laughs> Homie commit suicide. My uh, instructor wouldn't let me miss practice. He made me go to practice that day. I can't tell y'all that, but I'm checking on my people. We all going through something. Make sure to stay up, stay prayed up, keep moving through the storm. Leah Johnson was a former student at Ben Davis High School. She was in student publications and her hard work and passion got her to where she is now. My journey to becoming a writer started right here at Ben Davis, really. Student publications gave me the opportunity to dig into subject matter that I wouldn't have gotten to dig into elsewhere. My advice to students at Ben Davis is to read really widely, be really curious, no matter where you go from here, whether you go to college, you go straight into the workforce, whatever the case may be, you become a better citizen of the world and a better member of a community if you are engaging with stories that are different than your own. Good morning, Giants. A lot of students don't know what they'll do after high school, whether it's going to college or straight into the workforce. There are multiple things you can decide on doing right away. Some postgraduate options include tool and die maker, which can make $53,000 to $79,000 a year, computer support specialist, which can make $47,000 to $84,000 a year, delivery analysis, which can make $45,000 to $58,000 a year, and database managers, which can earn from $50,000 to $62,000 a year. Now let's go to Caesar for more information. Uh, if you still if you still have time, like if you're a junior or sophomore, I would say join Area 31 mm -hmm. because after that, if you don't want to go to college, you can just go straight to the workforce, or you could go into a trade school, which is also really good. It's like it's not a four-year college, and it's not really a college, but you still get a certificate of some sort, whether that be construction or like a technician of some sort or a mechanic. The Area 31 Career Center is a great place to know what career paths you might want to take and is a major help in helping you decide what you want to do after high school. Whether it's college, a trade school, or a full-time job, you shouldn't restrict yourself to just one option. Giovanni Terrazas, BD TV. H stands for Higher Education Credits. You may also choose to take AP courses or classes in which you can earn college credit, commonly called dual credit classes. If you choose this pathway to graduation, you must take three AP or dual credit classes and earn at least a C average. Your counselor will help you in determining if you have the correct combination. Up next, Ms. Swanick will be discussing the W pathway for graduation. The weather these past weeks have been very cold, but everyone wants to look their best and stay warm. Let's go to Dana to see how she would dress for the winter. Hi everybody, so I'm at Clothes in Seawick and basically today I'm just going to stand in a section where I see like cute clothes I like. I'm going to sit in a circle and I'm going to pick an outfit. I won't go try it on, so we're going to see how this goes. So.
As many of you know, Martin Luther King Day was Monday. It's important to remember his legacy and practice his beliefs. Now let's go to Victoria to find out how King has impacted the world today. Over break, the Harlem Globetrotters held their annual MLK Day basketball game as a way to get people out to celebrate the holiday. Let's see what Ben Davis students think MLK Day means to them. MLK Day affects my life by helping me understand that everyone is equal and that everyone has their own freedom. MLK Day affects my life today by helping me truly understand what happened in the past and make sure that it doesn't happen now. And if anything else happens like that, to stand up for it and not be quiet. He made sure we had freedom and he wanted to get his point across. And I wouldn't be going to a diverse school like I do today if it wasn't for him. Make sure to take time and remember what Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. did for you. Victoria Suggs, BD TV. We are here at Collisions Repair to get some tips on how to be a safe driver and correctly operate the vehicle. How responsible of a driver are you actually? Let's get started. The most obvious tip is to always wear your seatbelt whether you are the driver or not. Always be cautious of making too wide turns. Always check your mirrors before putting the key into ignition and before pulling out. I hope this has helped you become a few steps closer to being the safest driver you can be. Be safe and make smart decisions. Kalia Wainwright, BD TV. The Chinese paddlefish has been around for almost 200 million years. They even survived the mass extinction of dinosaurs. Recently, scientists declared these fish extinct. With climate change becoming more and more extreme as the years go by, more and more species are becoming endangered or extinct. You might wonder how climate change can really affect us. What can you do to stop it? How does global warming affect us? Well, it affects our health and our immune system. It also causes respiratory illness because the air quality is expected to worsen over time. Here are some small ways to reduce your environmental footprint. Eating less meat makes a huge difference. Drive more economically. Carpool, use less gas. Accelerate gradually and open the windows instead of using air conditioner. Unplug the unused devices in your home and turn off the lights that aren't in use. Recycle. As the years progress, the threat of global warming increases. Not only do we have to think about our generation, but we also need to look out for the generations to follow. Little things you do in your day-to-day -day life can add up to make a big difference. Malachi Walker, BD TV. Global warming affects our planet every day. In fact, it changes our weather. Let's go to Najia with the weather forecast for this week. Good morning, Giants. I'm Najia Payton here with a weather update. Today we will be having a high of 42 and a low of 32 with an 80% chance of rain. Saturday we will have a high of 36 and a low of 29, possible snow showers with a 60% chance of rain. Sunday we will have a high of 35 and a low of 29 with a 20% chance of rain. Monday we will have a high of 38, a low of 30 with a 10% chance of rain, along with Tuesday a high of 40, a low of 32, and a 10% chance of rain. Wednesday we will have a high of 42, a low of 32, with a 20% chance of rain. And Thursday we will have a high of 41 and a low of 30 with a 20% chance of rain. Najia Payton, BD TV. Now let's head to Zion with sports. Thanks Najia. I'm Zion Brown and several winter seasons are heating up now that we're in late January. Let's see what's going on. The boys basketball team lost last Friday to Lawrence North 73-60 in the Marion County semifinal. The Giants will play tonight at Center Grove and again tomorrow night at Decatur Central. The girls basketball team defeated their rival Pike at home last Saturday, 56-41. The Lady Giants will play tomorrow at home against Center Grove at 1.30. BD will then play at home on Tuesday night against Franklin Central. The wrestling team finished 6th in last Saturday's MIC tournament. The Giants were led by Broden Ruiz who finished 2nd in the event. The Giants have no matches this week with sectionals coming up next Saturday. Last Saturday, the swim teams hosted a four-team meet. The girls went 1-2 on the day while the boys were 2-1. In the meet on Tuesday, both teams lost to Brownsburg, but 25 personal best times were set for the Giants. To find out how BD did on their three-team meet on Thursday, head to BDSpotlight.com or at Giant Athletics on Twitter. Keep supporting Giant Winter teams as they need you now more than ever. Zion Brown, BD TV. For many people, their senior year is very impactful. From fun experiences to learning moments. Now let's go to Kevin to learn about his senior journey. My name is Kevin Alcala, and this is my personal narrative. My mom, my dad, my sister, my brother, 
I've always been there for me, always been there for them. You know, my dad put me in basketball and soccer, and I played basketball for like two years, and I stuck with soccer because, I mean, I just had a love for it when I was little. I just fell in love with how many goals I scored when I was little, so that just made the love even more. When I was like 10, maybe 9, my grandpa died. He was there since the beginning. He was blind, but, uh, but uh, he still heard me play. It, it was pretty dope how uh, he did that for me. Family love is still there. With soccer came really good friends. Shout out to a couple of my friends, uh, Josh, Gio, uh, Danny, Acho, uh, you know, because, I mean, they changed me up, you know, from, from the language we speak to, um, how we speak to each other. Uh, it, it's just amazing. And the, the love that we have for each other, uh, it's, it's pretty dope. The man above really um, stuck us through, through hard times with whatever we went through. And with them, you know, I, I'm glad to call them my brothers. So with soccer, I appreciate that. All right, hello everybody. Welcome to the BD Got Talent. I am your host, Oscar Soto, and I'm also a judge. And today we're going to be looking at three fabulous contestants, and we're going to see who has the most talent at BD TV. All right, uh, what is your name? Uh, my name is Fortnite New Master 42. And what is your talent? Um, I Fortnite dance. Get this man out the stage, bro. This guy! Get, get out! Get out, bro! Get out! Please. Go! Please. Go, bro! You, no, that wasn't good. And what is your name? Tamatha. And what is your talent? I'm really good at piano. How's he been? Yeah. Yeah, the other pissed his up anger that he needs. And what is your name? I can tell my shoes pretty fast. You win, bro. You win. You go. Yo! Bro, you want to do that? Yeah, that's right. This is three times. I'm over here dancing for y'all. Going out to the finals, bro. You going out to the finals. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching, watching Giants. Giants. Hopefully, you have a good weekend. And remember, if it's about you and me, it's, it's on, on BDTV. BD